my beautiful Virgo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I hope you're all having a beautiful day so far. And those of you that are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. So I do please ask that you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, my information is in the description box below. All right, my beautiful Virgos, we're going to find out what message spirit guides have for all of you. We're going to start with one card and that is your overall energy. Then I'm going to pull three clarifiers and then a final advice oracle from spirit. All right, my beautiful Virgos, what is it that you need to know today? All right, look at this. The energy is absolutely beautiful for you here, Virgos. We're starting off with the Ace of Cups. So we've got some new feelings. We are uh, The energy here is of new emotions, okay? For some of you, you might be embarking on a new relationship. All right, that is all in the air here. Look at that, the cup, this water, these emotions emerging from this woman's chest. Take a good look. This I just love this deck here, okay? It's such a beautiful, beautiful deck. I feel for some of you, you are um, being blessed here. There's definitely, I'm feeling for some of you, there is a new relationship coming in or you've already uh, met somebody and this is uh, emotionally making you feel very good, okay? I'm getting that um, here. Um, Whoever this is that you're meeting or will meet is very receptive to you. They're receptive to your emotions. I feel there is this compatible energy as well. So I feel that you're feeling good about this relationship here as well. This could be um, a love relationship. I do feel that this is a love relationship. This can also be... Uh, you know, a new job, this new feeling of emotions coming in where this position is feeling good for you. This could be something, it could be anywhere in your life, but I do feel like you have these new emotions emerging outside of yourself and they're very good feelings. So the energy is there of love, of compassion, of just feeling really blessed, this newness that's there as well. You know, when you first meet someone and you get that uh, feeling of butterflies, even in a new job, you can have that very fresh feeling where your heart's kind of fluttering and going, right? It could be new friends that you're meeting, but I definitely do feel there is something new in your life at this time, my beautiful Virgos. All right, let's pull some cards and see what else we're getting. Okay, so we're starting off with the Five of Wands, Page of Swords, and then the Empress. I do feel for some of you, you have come out of a place where there were disagreements, there were argues, and you weren't seeing eye to eye. There was a clashing of egos. So you were in a place where things weren't working out so well. And, um, you know, there was a lot of arguments. Um, just not able to see eye to eye here. So you may have come from a place where things weren't well. It could be a, a, a relationship that wasn't working out and you left that. It's been a little while now, but it's a position where, you know, this is a fresh start for you. Okay, Virgo, I feel this is a new feelings. That's what I'm getting here. So a very fresh start here with something that was long needed. And the five of wands is something that you were used to for a little while and it took a toll on your and on your mental health and on your physical health and you've come out of this now um that is the energy i am getting here with these two birds arguing with sticks isn't that interesting um the energy it just seems so chaotic and so disruptive with the five of wands here Okay, so just a chaotic situations, disagreements, struggles, you know, those kind of things. And you finally came out of it not too long ago. You were able to heal from this as well, Virgo. That's what I'm getting here from Spirit Guides. For a lot of you, this could have been... Um, I'm getting job and relationships. Relationship. Right, So maybe you were in a relationship where you weren't seeing eye to eye or you just weren't compatible with one another and it just eventually ended, right? And it, it may not have ended in good, good terms, but 
thank God it ended, right? And even with work, for those of you that have left a bad workplace, a toxic place, um, I feel that um, that was, you know, I, I, I am so glad you did what you did because I feel there's a lot of chaotic, very disruptive energy that was surrounding you and you've come out of this place here, okay? And here we are getting the Page of Swords. So look at this. There's light shining on this woman and she has a sword. She has a book. There's a maze behind her if you take a look at that. So she's followed this light out of this maze and I feel for some of you that's what has happened. You come out of this crazy maze of conflict of struggle of chaotic situations of disagreements clashing of egos all that kind of stuff you come out of it and now you are seeing the light you're focusing on your goals you're focusing on the life that you want to be in that is what I'm getting here and that is the new emotions right that are just look at how they are coming out of you Okay, this could be you coming out of this and feeling this way as well. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that there's new love or new relationship. This could be a new relationship with yourself, my friends, right? So that is what I'm getting here with the overall energy here with the Page of Swords. All right, and you know, I feel for some of you, you're really... Um, using your mind and really thinking about how to maneuver your life at, at this time okay and you're very direct in your approach and you're looking for uh truth in a, a lot of things now okay you're not tolerating any dishonesty i feel in the past in this situation here there was a lot of uh, dishonesty there's a lot of trust that was broken there was just a lot that went on and it just was not favorable okay and you've come out of this and that's why you've got these new emotions this newness this feeling of you know weight lifted on, on your shoulders that you can finally breathe it's like a breath of fresh air here okay and then I also have the Empress, uh, Empress card here and for me the Empress is like mom energy okay and here spirit guides Virgo really want you to embrace this energy okay this could literally mean that some of you are pregnant okay um, and that's what that a new motion is that you're coming into this feeling of being uh, uh, pregnant of motherhood of you know love and compassion there's this new human being that's going to be um, in your family in your life and you're really embracing that energy I feel um, it's almost like you're creating this new life for yourself because it took you so long to get out of this crazy maze of crazy chaotic energy that you finally come out and now you're ready to nurture the life that you want to be in and really take care of yourself and your needs but you're creating this brand new beautiful life with new emotions right new people i feel for you you really um worked very hard to get to this point in your life virgo and you, you know the universe is bringing you abundance and I feel for you that you're taking power over your life now, okay? And this is the universe blessing you and they're showing you that things are going to now start to grow. You're planting your seeds, okay? This is where the new creation comes in here with the Empress Empress card. And, you know, she is she's in her garden. She's taking care of things. There's wind, warm wind blowing in in her hair. And she's creating that life that she truly desires and wants. And I feel for some of you, you've come out of a situation that was chaotic. And now you're kind of like, you know what? I'm done with that life. I want to create this new beautiful environment for myself. I'm going to nurture it. And you're going to see growth in this here, Virgo. You're going to see how beautiful your life is going to become. I feel like you're, plant you're planting the seeds and you're nurturing them. You're taking whatever action steps in order to make your life beautiful. Okay, you're placing your yourself in a position where you're, you're you've put up boundaries these healthy boundaries that way no one can hurt you again it's just this beautiful feeling all I'm feeling is right now this warm wind flowing through my hair that's what I'm feeling that energy of bliss of just feeling good like a f breath of fresh air like just flowers and just this beautiful feeling 
uh, kind of overwhelming me, which is not overwhelm, it's in a nice way, right? So that is the energy we are getting. We're going to get some advice from Spirit Guides for you as well today. So let's see what um, Spirit would like to let you know at this time, Virgos. Shine your light, Virgo. Gifts and talents. Look at that. What a beautiful card. You are born with your own unique set of gifts and talents. Pay honor and respect to these qualities and go out and share them in, share them with the world. So tap into those, Virgo. You now can do that now that you've been freed of this chaotic energy. Okay, there's these new beginnings coming in for you. And I feel now is the time for you to nurture your gifts and your talents. Look at that. What a beautiful reading for you, Virgo. I'm so happy for you. This is amazing. So embrace those gifts. Embrace those talents. Show them to the world, my friends. You are a beautiful, beautiful person here, Virgo. So yeah, you have... Um, you are creating this brand new beautiful life this is going to bring in new people new relationships new love new just it's this newness it's like you've you've entered this new chapter of your life with these beautiful emotions it feels so nice this is how i felt when i first left my toxic relationship is this feeling of being liberated, like not being tied down and weighed down by a man baby. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it like that. But yes, I was dating this man child for so long. And gosh, he, I have two daughters and my daughters weren't as much work as he was like he was so needy. And living with him was so hard because I had to take care of him more than I did my daughters. Um, and this is how I felt when I came out of that relationship. And that is the feeling I am getting here for some of you. So way to go, Virgo, for taking that step to pull yourself out of that situation and creating this brand new life for yourself. Uh, you should give yourself a pat on the back. If I was there, I'd give you a big hug. Um, yeah, that is your message here from Spirit, my friends. I hope that resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.